Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. Love new crafting friends. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great DIY content. Today I'm going to show you how I print on fabric. This is so simple and so easy and you can create so many fantastic things when you can print right on a piece of fabric. I've done iron-on transfers, I have done um, wax paper transfer. This one works really well and it's right up there with the best. So lots of work, let's get started. Today's DIY is a tutorial on how to print directly right on fabric. We don't have to do any iron-ons, we don't have to do any messy processes. This is really simple. And all you're going to need is some spray adhesive, I'll put a link down below in the description. There's lots of different companies that you can get spray adhesive from. I'll put an Amazon link and we're going to need some computer paper. I've got three different swatches of fabric um, and this one is like a t-shirt material. This is like a cotton blend material, these two. So I can show you how it works on different material. Now the first thing that you need to do is press your material. I've already gone ahead and I've pressed these two pieces and they're ready to go. Next thing we need is I've got three sheets of computer paper, just regular paper, and our spray adhesive. I'm gonna take this outside and spray just one side of the paper with this spray adhesive. This stuff is really stinky. You wanna do it in a really well-ventilated well area or outside, and, um, and then I'll bring it back in and we'll attach our fabric to it. I've got the spray adhesive on the paper. It's nice and sticky. We're going to lay that fabric right on to that piece of paper. You want to get it centered and make sure your pattern is where you want it. Flip it over and we're going to cut off the extra. Now we're going to do the next one. I think this might be easier if we put the paper onto the fabric than the fabric onto the paper. Make sure you have it lined up where you want it. And press it down really firmly trim off the extra. And the last one, the t-shirt material. And we're gonna trim off around the edges. We now have three pieces of paper that have spray adhesive on them and we have attached the fabric and cut around the edges. We're ready to put this through the printer. When putting these through the printer, you wanna make sure you're feeding them through so it's going to be printed on the fabric. You can use this process with a laser jet or an inkjet printer. I do lots of DIY projects and I put things through my printer other than paper. I've never had any problems with it getting jammed up. That being said, I have just a cheap little inkjet printer that I use only in my crafting room just in case something does happen. I haven't ruined a really expensive printer. Um, and I always recommend that when you're crafting. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna pick out some graphics that I want to print on the fabric. We're gonna load this into the printer. It feeds printing from this way. And we're gonna hit print. And then you just have to peel the fabric off the paper and you have a perfect graphic on a piece of fabric that you can use on any of your DIY projects. I also printed off this one, which I think turned out really cute. And I had this embroidery hoop that I've had for forever in my stash. I'm gonna put this in the middle of it and turn it into a little wall hanging. Gonna embellish it with a little bit of greenery on the top and cut off the extra. And that's how you can easily print on a piece of fabric. And you can imagine all the possibilities that you can do with this technique. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you like this video, I'm sure you'll really love the next one. Take care.